Sing it, hey, mama, don't stress your mind. We come in home tonight. Hey, Warren Buffett once said, The more you learn, the more you earn. That is so true. Look at successful people like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, Oprah, Mark Cuban, and any other highly successful human. They are successful because they use their time right. They are successful because they are lifetime learners. They commit to learning new things every single day. Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest humans on the planet, is famous for reading more than five hours every day. Bill Gates reads one book per week. Mark Cuban, three hours a day. Oprah, well, she's just obsessed with books. Notice a common theme here? Successful people never stop learning. Think about this. You have $86,400 to spend every single day. But when the day is over, the money disappears. You can't get it back. Wouldn't you try to spend all of the money before they disappear? Wouldn't you try to use it wisely? Use it as best you could. The sad part is, we only have 86,400 seconds a day, and most people take this time for granted. Most people let this time disappear without a second thought. We never get this time back. We must use it wisely. We must be productive. We must use our time to do things we enjoy, or use it to set up our life so we can spend our future doing more things we want to do. Instead of wasting your time on meaningless things, use it to learn new things. The time you spend playing video games or partying with your friends will never come back. Once you use that time, it's gone forever. Use your time wisely. Read books. Study hard and learn as much as you can. Most people give up on their dreams because it gets too hard. A lot of students stop chasing their dreams because of one failed test. Matter of fact, most students don't even try their best when they take the test because in their mind, they have already failed the test. They stop believing in themselves and once the belief is killed, the dream is killed. If you have a dream, you must do everything to make it into reality. It doesn't matter how many times you fail a test. Never stop believing in yourself. Life itself is a test. Sometimes you will fail. But the only way you can be a failure is if you stop trying. Whatever dream you have, use all your energy to make it into reality. Push yourself to become the person you are destined to become. If you want to get results you have never got before, you are going to have to do things you have never done before. The richest man in the world, Bill Gates, was once asked which superpower he would like to have. The richest man in the world said that he would want the ability to read books faster. Success is not about the money, the fame, or the big house. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. You will fall down many times on the road to success. But the most important thing is that you get back up. Get back up stronger and wiser than before. Create a mindset that does not allow you to quit or stop believing. If you quit on your dream and give up, you'll never know how great you can be. Never doubt yourself. Doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. Hello guys, this is Marco Icabacang. This is my first vlog. Uh, my vlog is all about motivate how to motivate yourself and sana makatulong to sa iyo kahit konting impormasyon lang so yun yeah, simulan natin um, how to motivate yourself motivation can be can give the extra push to get something done 
but it doesn't always come when you need it. If you're struggling to start or, or complete a task, give you some encouragement to keep going. A little bit of member or group to keep accountable. If you're trying to achieve long-term plans, make sure that you have clear manageable, sure that the uh, maintain your motivation throughout the process. Big sabihin guys, kailangan mo ng inspiration yung mga kaibigan mo, gawin mo inspiration, yung pamilya mo. If even your loved ones can be your motivation. Kaya yan. I have six tips of motivation, how to motivate yourself. And this is our number one. Um, this Remind yourself why you want to do something. Um, example, oh, sometimes we need a little boost to help get us going on task or project. Say out loud or write down the reason why you need to do something. Tell yourself the benefit is good getting it done. For example, guys, uh, you might say, I'm going to for a run right now because I want to become a feeder or I need to do this homework so that I can get an A next sample guys uh, remind yourself of the dangers of procrastination promise yourself something like if I get this down now I can leave work late today or if I can get out of the way I can work something more fun and next is Build a vision board with images that represent what you want to accomplish in your life. It helps serve as a reminder what you really care about. Uh, the next tips, number two, is break down your work into smaller chunks. You may read hours or work, but if you break your day down into smaller segments, work can be easier to deal with. Start with easier tasks that you can complete quickly to build momentum. For example, instead of saying I have to work all morning, say I'm going to write this report in one hour, then I will go to the meeting at 11. And it, be, and it then will be a lunchtime. Example, block segment tasks in a planner or calendar app. Use different colors to mark different tasks at time blocks. This can break up your day and make it easier to face. Mm. Tips number three. Make your activities fun. Uh, maging masaya ka lang sa mga gawain mo. So, so yun, if you're doing the task or activity, it can be difficult to start. In this case, find a way to make the task more exciting you might include other people or challenge yourself in a new way mixing things up also help you getting this done so yun guys uh, for example if you want to become a fitter but hate going to the gym take an exercise class such, a, such as kickboxing, zumba and bari if you're ta studying for an exam compete with a friend See who can answer the most question correctly. Solve problem the fastest. So yun guys, kailangan mo ka lang ifan yung sarili mo para makuha mo yung isang motivational na make your activities fun. So yun. <coughs> Number four, promise yourself a reward when you getting someone done. Parang Sample dito yun, gawin mo na, gawan mo ng promise yung sarili mo na <coughs> maging magkaroon ka ng reward para sa gagawin mong challenge sa sarili mo. Even it's just as a small accomplish but yourself then back. You can give yourself a short break from work, treat yourself to snack a late, get a message or celebrate with friends, this can Keep you excited and motivated for the next step. So yun, kailangan mo maging makalubilo sa mga kaibigan mo, maging masaya ka lang. 
maging excited ka lang sa lahat ng bagay, maging challengeable ka lang sa lahat. So, ayun. So, ayun. Makakatulong yun sa motivation. Tapos, next, number five tips. Give yourself occasional breaks to avoid burnout. Well, while it's important to avoid distraction, too much work can make you less productive. Schedule occasional breaks throughout your day. Make sure you also take longer breaks over the weekend to rest and refresh yourself. For example, you might take 5 minutes every hour to go to the bathroom or to stretch. Next, schedule these breaks so that you have something to look forward to. <clears throat> example, you might tell yourself if I can get these reports done by 2 p.m. And I can go take quick break. Uh, next, avoid multitasking and getting distracted by checking emails and your phone. Your productivity will only suffer. So, yun, uh, <coughs> kailangan mo lang ma-focus yung yung bagay mo na gusto mong gawin. Walang distraction dapat na ma feel mo, makuha mo, walang dapat na ganun. Tapos, yun. Dito naman sa tips number 6. Tell, tell yourself that you can accomplish anything. When it comes to motivation, you can be your own worst critic to push yourself to do what you need to give. Yourself positive affirmation, remember that you can get this task done. If you put your mind to it, Next, if you find yourself thinking negatively about a task, force yourself to restate it a positive comment. For example, if I find yourself thinking I have too much work today, I'll never get it done. Say instead, if I start right now, it all get done before deadline. So yun guys, ilang <coughs> mga information sa how to motivate yourself. Um, six tips lang yun kaya kahit paano may may na paintindi ako sa inyo at yun sa motivating yourself di lang itong 6 tips lang ang, <coughs> ang pwedeng matutunan sa pag motivate sa sarili mo tulad din ang motivation sa pamilya sa kabigan mo even your loved ones you can be get a motivate if, if they inspire you so that and um, some tips to motivate yourself is to do your best or do your what you want do your kung ano napapasayo sa'yo yung gawin mo mau motivate ka nyan tapos gawin mo sarili mo ano <coughs> maging aggressive ka lang palagi tapos yun um, yahoo the strike works Squidward we got our jobs back forever 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 one eternity later sa mga nasabi ko di lang sa ganun ma-motivate ka pwede ka rin ma-motivate sa kahit anong bagay tulad ng pakinig ng kanta, music and ma-motivate ka niyan dahil sa music because you feel the song because you can relax pag isip-isip ka pag nakakanta ka, napasabay ka ginaganaan ka dahil may pinapakinggan ka kaya yun ma-motivate ka rin, napapaisip ka Ang ganda-ganda pala ng lifestyle mo parang ganun Tapos yan, namamotivate ka nun Tapos malaking tulong yan na pakikinig ng music Tapos yan, kailangan mo rin mali ng mga bagay-bagay Lalo na yung mga tao malapit sa'yo Dahil sila lang makakapag-motivate sa'yo Tapos yung sarili mo dapat intindihin mo Lahat yun Tapos yan Thank you.
Huwag mong motivate sa sarili. Importante dahil nakakatulong ito sa ating pagkatao para ma-improve yung sarili natin sa bawat bagay na gagawin natin. So yun, dapat importante magkaroon ka ng motivation sa sarili mo. Tapos, Yun, salamat sa pagkikinig yan lang yung uh, pagkakalang ko sa pag how to motivate yourself Tapos yun uh, yun thank you nga pala sa pagkikinig nyo sa akin dito sa aking first vlog you know uh, sensya na kayo uh, first vlog kasi ito eh. <coughs> Tapos, yun salamat salamat po sa Nandito na si Dong Bombelia po Number 16 sa Baluta Whether you're trying to lose 20 pounds, get that promotion at work, or quit smoking, sticking to your goal isn't an easy task. After all, 45% of people drop their New Year's resolutions after a month. So why is it so difficult to keep motivated, and how can science help us achieve what we're after? Please like and subscribe them. <clears throat> Don't forget to like and subscribe you. And so it out nga pala sa pamilya ko at sa girlfriend ko na nagmo-motivate sa akin. Sila yung inspirasyon ko at yun, salamat sa kanila, salamat. Ayun, doon magtatapos yung vlog ko. Salamat, I love you all. Thank you sa panonood. Don't stress your mind